welcome back to my youtube channel i'm vela so today we're going to be making a lovely mini ball dress i said mini because it's it's not for um it's not a luxury ball dress that will fool everywhere it's just something that a child can um wear to church or just go out you know so um today we'll be making use of the following materials remember i said mini so the yardage i'll be using is not the um the normal yardage the quantity required for a luxury ball dress okay so i'm making it for a three months old baby and i won't have to feel comfortable wearing it to casual outings like church or just casual places and not necessary for photo shoots okay so i'll be making use of this lovely velvet material it feels so cool on the body so i love it i'll be making use of it for the upper part and i have my two nets here i have a lot actually but because it's not going to be um the luxury ball dress i'll just cut out two yards from this um two net i have the the two net i have is bigger than what i need then i have my lining this is original cotton lining so i have my doll face bridal satin i have this lovely sequence velvet sequence leftovers so i don't know actually i don't know where i'm going to use them on this dress but i feel it's cool and it matches my um velvet so i don't know where i'm going to put them for now as time goes on maybe after making the dress or doing the making i don't know yet but i feel i'll use this to um, decorate the dress okay the next thing you'll be needing is to sew with bella um standard size chart this is my own size size chart for kids so if you've not gotten this please go to my facebook group and you get this or chat me directly please get this it's very important okay so i'll be making use of this standard size chart i'll be making use of the first line which is three to six months and i'll use the one that i need out of it okay and you will need your ruler pencil and of course your pattern paper so let's get started so my bust i'll be using 18 the waist i'll be using 18 the full length i'll be using 16 inches the half length i'll be using six inches and um the back or the shoulder i'll be making use of four inches that is eight inches divided by two which is four inches so this is my starting line here my starting line so i'll impute my four inches for my back here so i will come down for my arm over by four and a half inches four and a half inches that's the chest line and i will rule out okay so i'll repeat what i have here my shoulder four inches because i want to get a straight line four inches and here we have it so i did my shoulder here four inches and i got this line um four and a half inches then i rolled across and repeated my four inches to get this straight line okay so having done that i'm going to impute my bust measurement my bust is 18 18 divided by four that will give me 4.5 inches so i have 4.5 inches here 
from my shoulder i'm going to the dot half inch for my shoulder slant okay so the remaining shoulder so i did not get half inch for my shoulder slant the remaining shoulder i'm going to divide it into equal half to get my armhole curve okay so here that i marked out the half of my armhole i'm going to go in by half inch or oh, let's do quarter inch quarter is okay since it's for a three months old baby now let me recap i took away half inch from this my show um i'm online half inch so that i'm going to slant my shoulder you know the human body the shoulder is not straight it's slanted so i divided what the remaining part of this line into two equal half mark the center and came in by a quarter inch okay so from my quarter inch i'm going to connect with a straight ruler to my half inch mark up so this is it and with the help of my ample curve i'm going to connect from my four uh, from my quarter inch to my bust measurement remember your bust measurement should be divided by four all your circumference measurements should be divided by four apart from the neck or the shoulder measurement the shoulder is just divided by two okay so i'm explaining this in case in case for the beginners so i have my my arm o curve okay so the next thing to do is to bring out my half length which is six inches six inches We're marking it into three places so that we can get a straight line. So this is my half length, six inches. My waist is 18 inches divided by four will still give me 4.5 inches. So I'll connect my bust and my waist together with a straight line. So for kids dress, I usually put just one inch sewing allowance. So I'll do that now. My um ruler have calibration. So in case you're wondering how do I know it's one inch, my ruler has some markings. Okay. So having done this, we are left with the necklines. And for the length, I'm going to be using two and a half inches. So I used two inches here, two and a half inches, two and a half inches, two inches. Hope we get, okay? So I'll connect with the help of my curved ruler. Now it's not compulsory that the front and the back neckline will be the same for this one i'm going to the back will be lower the back will be a v neck so i'm going to lower the back neckline now so i'll use four inches for the back neckline and it should be a slant a slightly curved i don't want it to be just straight v I want it to be slightly curved so as you can see I'm using just one pattern for this so I'll first of all cut out my front neckline that is lower before the back neckline hope we get so now it's time to connect our shoulder slant so from your half inch mark here you connect your shoulder slant so this is it our 
upper bodies is ready now you remember to add your half inch sewing allowance to the lower part i'm going to be adding half inch allowance at the shoulder too now remember we have six inches here please let's check home six inches and i said i'll be making use of the full length 16 inches that means 16 minus 6 will give us 10. so remember when cutting your net your net should be 10 inches then when cutting your doll face you will do 10 minus 2 which is 8 inches and when cutting your lining you will do 8 minus 2 which is 6 inches so from the first one which is 10 inches the, the original length you can add one inch extra yes you can add one inch extra to all of them because we are going to be joining to the waist so i'll go now to cut out this draft Then later we'll cut out the back. So guys, this is what we have. I'm going to use it to cut on my fabric. So having pinned it now, I'm going to cut. I'm cutting my front first. So let me just remove this. Remember, we've added all sewing allowance. All. This is for the front, so I'll go now to trim off this and cut the back. Remember to add your one inch sewing um, zipper allowance by this side. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut my to cut my fabric and my lining. I'm using doll face for the lining. So I cut the lining the same way as the fabric and this is my back and you can see that it is low and this is my zipper allowance. Now it's time to cut our lower parts. So guys, this is my two yards of net. Okay, you can see it's the length. Alright, so I folded it in a way that I can control it. So now, since this is just two yards, and what I need is 11 inches on each. So first of all, I'll trim out my starting point. So I'll just place my hand on it and trim it up so that I'll have equal edge. Okay. Now that I have it, I'll mark out 11 inches on this net 11 inches 11 inches and i'll cut out so i'll i'll mark it out till i exhaust till i exhaust this this length this is my 11 inches upon each each one so I'll continue till I'm done okay so uh, this is the last one this is 11 inches so let me count how many layers we have so I have one I have two three four five six layers so we have six layers here of just two nets okay so this will keep our side remember the next one is your 
doll face and we are subtracting two inches from the length of the net so since the length of the net is 11 inches our doll face should be nine inches this is two yards of doll face and i'm just cutting out just one layer so remember we are using nine so uh, for this doll face you can either hem it or you weave it if you're hemming it you can add half inch extra okay you can add half inch extra for the hemming if you're weaving it just leave it like that so our doll face is ready cutting this now seven inches plus my half inch for hemming i want to quickly remind us that our my last ball dress luxury ball dress tutorial for the year is soon coming up it's coming up soon and if you want to be partaker of it you can save my number chat me up on whatsapp so that i'll add you to my broker's list so that whenever it's out you get the information first hand and there is a discount for early beds okay so now this is my lining so guys i've decided to make it with sleeve so we'll be working with the sleeve length of seven inches and the round sleeve of six inches okay so let's just draft our sleeve seven inches for the length mark out then for the round sleeve we have six inches divided by two is three inches okay so um what we have here for our arm o this is our pattern we drafted what we have here is five inches so i'm going to use free hand to make a sleeve that will give me five inches five and a half inches okay we have it here So this is what we have and I'm going to add my one inch sewing allowance. I know some people will shout, ah Bella, what did you do? <laughs> okay, so I'll explain. Though this is not the standard way of making a sleeve, please. This is not the standard way, but I'm just going to manipulate it. So I, all I did was I'm adding my sewing allowance. Okay, so all I did was from this starting point to here is my sleeve length, which is seven inches. I marked it out. My round sleeve is six inches. Divided by two, give me three inches because this is on fold. Okay, so the three inches, I marked it out. From here to here is three inches and this is my one inch sewing allowance okay so i measured out this arm o line this arm o including the sewing allowance okay and i have 5.5 inches so i try to create the arm o curve that that will give me 5.5 inches using my arm o ruler okay just place the curved edge like this just small then you turn it and you continue okay so having gotten that i added my my one inch sewing allowance i will do a a detailed tutorial on how to cut a sleeve okay so i'll cut this out now
So this is our sleeve pattern. So I'll go and cut it out on the fabric. So guys, I've cut out my sleeve and it's time to sew. So let's move all this pattern to the sewing machine. As you can see, I'm having two separate tools here. I told us we should pick it two, two. Since it's three, it's six, you can pick it two, two. So remember when you're gathering manually with your machine, you should leave some thread hanging so that you can pull it with it afterwards, okay? So I will start sewing. Remember, you don't backstitch, please. Don't backstitch. So, in this case, you can sew and gather. Just pick one of the thread. You can see my thread. This is the lower thread, and this is the upper thread. I can be sewing and be gathering as I go. Any which way I find easy, I will do that. I will do it for the remaining four. Okay? Remember your stitch should be on the last stitch, the loosest stitch. So guys, I'm done um, with the gathering. You can see my first layer my second layer and my third layer okay these i gathered them up to my 20 inches waist remember the waist of the child is 18 plus two inches for zip allowance one for this side and one for the other side that is 20 inches so this is my three layers okay so um this is my lining i've gathered it too and this is my bridal satin i gathered it too so let's keep those ones aside now these are my pattern pieces uh, pattern sets for the upper part now we're going to be sewing i'm going to be sewing lining to lining and 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 the uh, velvet to velvet that is the right fabric to the right fabric so the first thing to do now is to join my two boot shoulders so this is the front piece i'm going to be joining the shoulder for the front piece and the shoulder for the back piece so having arranged them like this i'm going to take my pin and pin down Remember by the side we gave one inch sewing allowance at the shoulder we gave half inches on both shoulders so that is what we are sewing with I also half inch here half inch here one inch for the side seams and I'll repeat same for this for my lining okay Please, which, whatever allowance you give, remember to take exact same allowance. So I'll go ahead now to repeat this same thing I've done on the lining. This is what I've achieved. So I I used one inch for the side seam and I used half inch for the shoulder part. So I'll give it a good press, open press, then repeat the same thing for the lining. Then for the sleeve, I'm going to hem it. This is our sleeve, this is the sleeve pattern, and you can see I gave one inch allowance, so I'll use it to hem the down part give it a good press then i will show us what next to do 
so guys having done all the necessary ironing i want to fix my sleeve to my um main fabric okay i'll use my lining to turn everything inside so all i have to do is to measure the arm o so i have exactly four here so i'm going to sew my sleeve to four inches okay so remember the round sleeve we're using in six divided by two divided by two will give me three so you mark out your three this is my three here so i'll sew on my three We're trying to achieve neat finish. Neat finishing. So I'll try to locate my four inches on this leaf. So guys this is our two sleeves okay neatly sewn so i'm going to be attaching each one to the arm o so remember the right side of the sleeve will face the right side and please when you are matching them up this sewing allowance inside this is my sewing allowance inside try to bend it as if you're forming a triangle okay just bend it use pin to hold it down so that it won't remove the sewing allowance inside try to bend it so we'll have this okay so i'll match up my sleeve you will do the same for the sleeve sewing allowance Bend, bend the sewing allowance inside. So guys, this is it. You can see it's fitting perfectly. Okay, so I'll sew round and I'll repeat the same for the other sleeve. So guys after sewing it this is what we have okay this is the sleeve and um this is the inside it's still rough inside so now we are going to be attaching our net we'll attach our net and our satin to this one and attach our lining to this other one before we we'll do the whole net finishing so we're sewing it, lining separately and fabric separately before we attach it to the upper part please ensure that you leave about one inch to one and a half inch depending on your zipper allowance for the zipper side before you um, gather so that it won't be bulky at that point do you understand don't gather about one to two inches around the two edges the two starting points so that it won't be bulky this side as you can see is is not bulky now we see it it's not bulky and this side too so ensure you do that for the for all the pieces the lining the door face and the the next okay so having said that I'm going to arrange my nets. You know there are three layers. So I'll arrange them on each other. I don't want to sew them down. I'll just use pin to arrange them on each other. So that in any case that one is not equal to the other, you can rearrange. I like this method of arranging, pinning down. So that even if it's not equal with your upper bodies, you can still adjust when you're sewing them on them, like when you're sewing them together. 
so this is it having arranged and pinned down everything so this is what i have so when you're sewing make sure that the line this stitch line that you use in gathering it is entering inside your sewing allowance don't allow anyone to be seen because it will make you to start losing this line okay this is the order of the um how you're going to arrange them your two necks first then your bridal satin you see your the front of your bridal satin should be facing your net the right side of your bridal satin should be facing your net that's what we'll be seeing outside okay so you pin down so guys having pinned down my um bridal satin inside my bridal satin inside so i have the layers of two and i have my bridal satin as you can see and the right side is up facing the two necks okay so this is the right side of this fabric now and this is the right side this is the right side of my upper bodies so i'm going to match them up okay right side facing right side so i'll start from one zipper allowance end to the other so i will still pin them down like i pinned the net and the bridal satin i like pinning their soulmates you pin so that you avoid errors so when you reach the um the side seams remember to push it inside to push it by the side as if you're forming a triangle the same thing we did for when we are sewing our sleeve okay remember to push it by the side i'll do that when i'm sewing so you can see it's matching up it's everything is matching up you can see now so i'll sew but while sewing i'll try to pick up everything okay i'll try to pick up my bridal satin i'll try to pick up my three layers of two and i'll try to pick up my upper bodice fabric so after doing this i'll still do the same thing for the lining remember your sewing allowance use your sewing allowance So guys, this is what we have after joining the upper part and the lower part. This is what we have. I hope you can see it. So I'm about to join this zip. So this is how to go about it. This is my lining. I've joined the upper and the lower part to the lining for this dress. Okay. Remember, we are doing lining to my name, fabric to fabric. So we are trying to achieve neat finish. So for the zipper part, pin your waistline together so that they will be equal. So this is it. I've pinned them down. So from this waistline, come down by four inches and mark. Then come down again by two inches from that four inches come down by two inches okay i'll show us what to do with these two measurements now remember when, when you're picking please pick the whole fabric you know you have six layers of two nets on this side and on this side one layer of doll face this side and this side so try to pick all the whole layers okay if possible count them and pick them so i'll arrange my fabric now so the only place i will sew is from that my four inches mark to my two inches mark remember i said from the waistline come down by four inches and come down again by two inches following the four inches so this is the only place i'm going to sew from the four inches to my two inches mark i'll sew and stop so i'll just sew down with my sewing allowance one inch sewing allowance 
I'll sit down. So all I did was to sew down from 4 inches to that 2 inches mark and I stopped, okay? Now I'll tell you the reason why you have to stop. All you did was to hold them together, okay? With that 2 inches, all you did was to hold them together. Now we are sewing only the two nets so you need to be careful so only the two nets i'm sewing only my two nets now i've pushed my satin aside so only two nets then when when you're done you sew only your satin this will give you a very clean and neat finish so i'm going to bring my satin and sew my satin only my satin this time around if you're used to my video, you will, you will be used to this already. My kiddies video, I'm all about neatness and the comfort of the child, okay? Okay, so we are done with that part. Let's turn the inside to show you what we achieved. So you can see, it's made it light. It's made the... Uh, it made it light here it's not bulky and this is our satin that we sewed only the satin so now it's time to fix our zip you just fix your zip the normal way you fix your regular zipper okay so I'm, the only difference now is that you're just fixing it only to the main fabric then later you use your lining to turn so guys having put our zipper this is where we are now. You can see our beautiful dress is turning out beautiful. Eh? This is our zipper. So, having done that, it's time to fix in the lining. Okay? So, remember, right side facing right side. The right side facing the right side okay you try to match up the neck the two shoulder where you, the shoulder joining try to match up your shoulder joining and you pin this is it so i'll so you can see it's matching up perfectly so i'll also round the shoulder and after that, I will show us what next to do. So after sewing, um, remember to give it a notch. You know, this is the neck area and it's curved. So remember to give it a notch. Okay. So the next thing to do is to sew the zipper side. And also, before you notch that zipper side or you trim off the, your remaining zipper, please try to close your zip to match up. Make sure it's matching up. I'll do that now. So guys, to sew the other part, this zipper part, so all you need to do is to, this is your lining, this is your lining fabric, flip it over like this. And just follow the line you use in fixing your zip and sew it straight down. So this this the inside of this how the clothes is. So you bring out your lining, flip it over to where you made you, you sewed your zip and sew straight down using the sewing allowance inside. Okay. So I'll sew this down and I'll repeat the same for the other side. Even if you're not seeing your zipper, just use your hand to feel it. Just use your hand to feel the zipper part. Okay. Just use your hand to be feeling it and make sure you're pushing the ones underneath aside so that you're not be sewing them together. 
Who she so it? Where you so jersey? So I'm done with this side. I'll repeat the same for the other side. So guys, this is what we have after fixing our zipper. Okay, this is what we have. So remember to give every corner a press. Give it a nice press. So the remaining thing for us now is this arm O. We want to um we want to neatly finish the arm O. This is how the clothes is inside, and you need to finish off this arm O. So this is the lining. Flip the lining over to all the rough parts. That reminds me, this is your rough part. You can serge it. You can use your serger to finish it up or just leave it like that since it's in same finish. Okay. So the the sides match the side of the lining to the side of the main fabric. You can either pin down or just sew. So I mean, I like pinning down, so I'll pin down before sewing. So all you need to do is just to sew it right round. It's not going to be easy, but it's, it's achievable. So just sew it right round the arm hole, okay? And so guys, I've done just one. This is it. This is just the one I've done. The, the other one is still like that. I will go now to finish it. This is just to show us that it is achievable. Okay, so this is, this is the inside of your clothes looking so neat. This is it. This is inside of your clothes looking so neat. So the inside, the rest of the inside cannot be looking neat, and only the sleeve will now come and be looking somehow. So you can see how neat it is. So you just have to take your time to carefully do this hi guys so this is where we are right now you can see um i'm true with the arm hole like i said and i've ironed it out so remember my beautiful sequin fabric i said i'm going to use it later on to decorate this i'm just trying to see if this place will be better or i've not started down or maybe here at the waistline i'm not sure i'm just trying my hands on different things this is a um, five by four then i added half inch allowance that means um five and a half by four and a half i turned it with my bridal satin okay so just is a square is in form of a square so you just pinch it in the middle and it will give you a bow so i'm just trying to see if this place is better or like this will be better here or here i'm not sure yet but guys just do whatever you find um okay or you can use something else to design it and not necessarily the sequent fabric is because i have it this is what you can use your scraps to do okay so um this is the inside of our of our um gown for our dress this is the inside you can see how beautiful it's looking inside look at the um the sleeve you can see how beautiful it's looking so when people open your dress and see that this thing is looking this nice inside definitely they are going to pay you your words okay so this is it inside and outside and it's looking lovely inside look at it inside and see the outside looking so lovely so guys Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to my channel. Share this video to your groups online so that they can also partake. And remember, my kiddies mini ball dress uh, course is coming out very soon. So you can follow me on my social media handles to be um to be alert whenever I 
post the advert okay so this is what we've come come up with so see you guys in my next video i remain bella bye